drink and look at all their phone stuff hanging on the walls. It's quite an experience. Okay. Hi, baby. Coming back to join me? Uh, cancel. Water, water, left, right, left, right. Don't trip. Here we go. Hi, baby. Do you want to eat my boots or do you want fish? <laughs> He tries to murder our boots on a daily basis. <laughs> yes, good boy. All right. Aww. So pelicans do not have any teeth, as you see. Gobble, gobble. California browns are a subspecies of the brown pelican. They're the smallest pelican in the world. They're also the only ones that would do that incredible aerial bomb dive into the water to snag those fish. And the wild bugsy would be hunting for fish like sardines, anchovies, and mackerel. These are lake smelt and lake smelt to be in one herring. So usually on any given day, between summer and winter, depending on what season we're in, he's way more in the winter. But maybe 50 to 100 smelt today. A couple of bigger fish throughout the week. In the wild, he would be dive bombing into the water, catching a few fish at a time, right? So this is why his feet are so spaced out for proper digestion, to give him a little bit of a break. Obviously, he's not catching 100 fish at one time, right? Alright, thumbs up, thank you, bye! You gonna hang out for a minute? You gonna show up? Do some happy dances? You stay, you stay, you get it, get it. <laughs> so for those of you just joining us, Bugsy has permanent damage on that left wing. He was wrapped in trash found in the ocean Aww. off the west coast, southern coast of California. This is why he's living here. We get a lot of interesting questions in our habitat, especially from our adults who find way too many adult beverages. Like, does we just fly in to eat? Pelicans are not found off of Las Vegas Boulevard, for those of you that do not know, or they're not found in the desert. They are coastal birds. California browns get their name as primarily between North and South America, California coast. Their only breeding colonies are also off of the California coast. Unfortunately, back in the 70s, we almost lost this entire species because of chemical pesticides like DDT being used in this country. It was banned. And good news is in 2009, they were taken off of the Endangered Species Act. So always good news, right? We want all of these animals on this planet to remain here. They deserve to be here just as much as we do. Hi, Smelly Billy. You're gonna have a scary contest? I love you too. Does anybody have any questions this afternoon? Yes, sweetie. Do you think Bugsy can eat that fish? He cannot. He's little. Not this big. <laughs> those fish. He cannot take down those koi fish that literally are the same size. Either. The tiny little fish, the minnows, yes, he can eat them. We have to feed him four times a day. He does not really have to feed himself. This is a very bougie bird with a very good retirement plan. And we want to monitor how much he is eating daily. So we do try to control that as much as possible to make sure he stays at a healthy weight. And for those of you wondering, he's just super excited. Stimuli, food for most living creatures. Anybody have a dog at home? I used to have a large dog who would also shake, moon, and drool during the feeding times. Every day, all day, this is the same behavior. There's nothing wrong with him. He is just very stimulated, lots of people, it's food time, lots going on, right? 